Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Good day to everyone. On the 10th anniversary of the July 19 Rojava Revolution in North and East Syria, we in the Partido Lakastang Masa, PLM Philippines, express our solidarity with the struggle of the women and men of Rojava to defeat the occupation and establish a democratic Syria. And we call on the United Nations to impose a no-fly zone over this territory, to block a new invasion by the Turkish state and allied Islamic fundamentalist terrorist groups. Bordered on all sides by hostile reactionary forces, Rojava stands defiantly as a beacon for human solidarity, cooperation, and progress. The revolution is a social transformation involving forms of local governance, social and political empowerment of women, recognition of ethnic and cultural identities, and attempts at a more democratic education and health system. Especially inspiring has been the liberation and empowerment of women in the face of the terror of ISIS and repression. As is now well known, the Kurdish fighters of the People's Protection Units and the Women's Protection Units and their allies organized in the Syrian Democratic Forces were able to defeat the jihadists and liberate their so-called capital of Raqqa. Women's cooperatives lead the transformation of the social and economic system, as well as the transformation of the damaged environmental and ecological systems in the area. On July 3, 34 political parties in North and East Syria issued a call for the United Nations to impose a no-fly zone over this territory to block a new invasion by the Turkish state and allied Islamic fundamentalist terrorist groups. The party de la Kastan Masa supports this call. Turkey aims to take over several more towns and cities in the areas liberated by the Syrian Democratic Forces and to occupy a 30 kilometer deep so-called security zone in territory now democratically governed by the autonomous administration of North and East Syria. According to the Rojava Information Center, there have been 47 attacks by Turkish armed drones between January and June this year. In the last month, the attacks have been stepped up. A defeat for the Turkish government's threatened invasion would be a victory for progressive forces all around the world. Mabuhay, the Rojava Revolution. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. I'm Chu Chung Kai from the Socialist Party of Malaysia. We would like to express our solidarity with the Rojava Revolution. This July marks the 10th anniversary of the beginning of the Rojava Revolution. Rojava Revolution is an emancipatory project for a future where Kurds and Arabs, Armenians and Assyrian, Muslim and Christian, or basically the peoples from all walks of life, regardless their ethnicities and religions, gender and sexual orientation, live peacefully together and strive to reshape the world by overcoming capitalism and imperialism. Rojava Revolution is a shining example in the 21st century that achieving another world is possible even in the most difficult situation. Rojava Revolution is the beacon of our time for realizing a world that enshrines the principles of social justice, peace, women liberation, cooperative economics, ecology, and participatory grassroots democracy. At the moment, the Rojava Revolution is under threat of massive invasion from the Turkish state under Erdogan regime. The peoples and the government around the world need to break the silence and speak up against this escalating aggression on the Kurds inside Turkey as well as in the southern Kurdistan and Rojava. We stand in solidarity with the peoples of Rojava in fighting this fascist onslaught. The Rojava revolution is an inspiration for all of us 
who committed to the struggle for social emancipation, peace and justice. Rojava Revolution is our common revolution. We in Socialist Alliance Australia are acutely aware of the genocidal intentions of the Turkish state against the Kurdish people, both Kurds within Turkey, also in nearby Syria. Turkey is run by a far-right authoritarian figure by the name of Erdogan, who's got a long record of attacking the democratic rights of the Kurdish people, arresting elected mayors, elected parliamentarians, arresting members of the People's Democratic Party. Also, military attacks on the Kurdish majority areas in northern Syria. That is, military attacks on the Rojava revolution. Right now, there's a particular danger, because with the entry of Sweden and Finland into NATO, Turkey has been given a green light to escalate these attacks, and there are every indication that this is exactly what they're planning to do. Right now, there are almost daily incursions into uh, Syrian earth, um, airspace, and as I said, this is in a context of where there is a long record of um, military attacks on the Rojava Re revolution. Now, it's in this context that a large number of progressive parties and organisations in the region have got together and are calling on the United Nations to impose a no-fly zone over northern Syria. Now, since the airspace in northern Syria is currently controlled by the United States and Russia, in effect what this means is the United Nations calling on the US and Russia to deny entry into that Syrian airspace by Turkish military. These are military jets that will be used against the, the, the Kurdish people, against the Rojava revolution. And the Rojava re revolution is such an inspiring example of freedom, grassroots democracy, women's liberation, and in general, it's a progressive liberation project. All of us around the world have got an interest in protecting this valuable social endeavour, and that's why I wholeheartedly support this cause.